Um, hi. Uh, obviously, like I said, uh, yesterday, if you watched my cryptid time, that I'd be, a, be making a video tomorrow, so today, technically. Um, talking about... Well, talking about, uh, this whole, or, like, giving my thoughts on this whole Coyote Peterson, um, Brave Wilderness situation. Um, some things you may not like about, like, uh, what I'll say and all of that, but it's my opinion, no one else's, so who cares? And obviously, nobody's gonna really even see this video, so there's the. There's kind of the unfortunate part, but, um. I guess I can go with the. I'll, I'll say the things that I like about his video on finding. on finding a Bigfoot skull. Um, obviously, he said in the video that, uh, the next thing he's in the video that you'll see is a what-if scenario. So, it's obviously fake. So, it's obviously fake and all of that. But, um, yeah. So, it is obviously gonna erupt. Look, a gorilla skull or something like that. Maybe it's an orangutan st skull. They have, sh who knows? They have sharp canines too. But um, no, yeah, it's or maybe it's a fake Bigfoot skull that you can find on on Amazon, eBay, Etsy, whatever. Um. Like, I can see the scenario and all that. Like, why hasn't anybody taken a... Like, found a skull and taken it or whatever. And blah this, blah that. Um, which, yeah, that's true. That's what I like. They're going, why hasn't this happened? Which, here's the thing. Guarantee us someone has found a Bigfoot skull and has kept it to themselves. Or even found bones of a Sasquatch. But, and kept it because they thought it was a cool bone, but they don't really know what animal it came from. Um, obviously, we're talking about a creature that has proven time and time again that it's smarter than humans. And it's proven time and time again that it knows it's smarter than humans. So, if they want to be, like, secretive and all of that, they're gonna bury their, their, uh, remains, like, their family's bodies and all of that. But I also realized something, too. They could even eat the bodies. Too, it's weird. Um... It's like, it, it, it's a weird thought, um, because they could even eat the bodies, and some animals will eat the bones, so maybe they can digest the bones and all of that. You, I mean, because some predators do that. Shoot, bears do it. And bears are omnivorous, meaning they eat both meat, plants, like, stuff like that. Whatever they can find, they'll eat. Same goes for primates and all of that. Um, so obviously, the reason why we probably haven't found many bones is, first of all, bones decay. It, it has to be the right, like, the right set of environment or whatever for fossils to even form, if that makes sense. Um, and even then, that'd be hundreds of thousands of years. Actually, no, not even thousands, millions of years, or billions, actually. So, uh, for, so, there's that, but also, it 
like I said, too, it's a predator. It's a massive predator that eats whatever it wants. Because it eats deer. And uh, they say that s some Sasquatch even eat the bones. Which would also make sense to why we haven't found any bones of their hands of like a Sasquatch. It's because they're all could be eaten. They're all in poop and all that. Which also decays. Um, and again, like I said, if they're smart enough to bury or like make these structures and all of that, if they're smart enough to bury um, their dead. Which means we have this super smart creature that not only buries its dead because either A, it doesn't want us to find it, or B, it doesn't want predators to find where it's living at and, you know, decimate their family or whatever. Um, there's that. But, now here, here's the bad part about this whole situation and all of that. Mario, one of their camera people and all of that, said there's not enough evidence because they need a dead body. I'm sorry. Why do you need a dead body? That's, that's the problem I have with this. Why do you need a dead body to say, oh, it's real? Because we've had, have numerous footprint casts. Uh, let's see, there's been hair of unknown creatures found here in, in the, in, like, North America. We have tons of photos. Some of them are blurry, and then others are really freaking good footage. And you're saying it's not enough because there's no dead body. That, in turn, is utterly stupid. Because you're going to look at something that looks human and go, kill it. When it's freaking taller than Shaq. And is, let's see, a wild animal. It's proven to be dangerous toward, or like aggressive towards humans. Um, it, let's see. Uh, there's been been legends of them stealing and eating children and you're gonna go yeah let's shoot it why you've done it in the past with other animals going going yep that's a photo of of the what was supposedly extinct this it's back alive that that check. So you do not need a frickin' dead body to say, say an animal's real. That's the problem I have with that. And then the other thing is, is y'all were joking around this whole time in the frickin' video. It's absolutely stupid. And insensitive of you to call yourselves professionals but make fun of of pretty much people who are looking for something that may or may not exist they want answers and you want answers about why th this sort of animal blah this blah that you're a zoologist you want answers on already found and discovered creatures that we don't have really, like, that's really unknown about. Like, we don't know their behaviors and all of that. And yet, you're making fun of pretty much cryptozoology in a whole. And, like, researchers and all of that with this one video. Second of all, guarantee of people have found skulls and they keep it to themselves. 
because first of all there's too many stories of the government coming and take taking bodies of of supposed Sasquatches which first of all I kind of believe kind of don't believe I mean look look at uh what our other president said about UFOs when the Pentagon itself said they caught a UFO on footage. Oh, it's a weather balloon. It's it, it's not real. It's a weather balloon. First of all, a weather balloon looks like way different than than what was caught on footage there. And also, you're a complete and utter retard if uh, you think we're the only only life in either a our solar system or our freaking universe or galaxy, whatever you want to call it. You're a freaking idiot to think that aliens don't exist or extraterrestrial life. But yeah, anyways, that's a different thing altogether. But also, here's the other thing too is, is you're pretty much mocking people who've seen a Sasquatch with that one video. What is wrong with you? That's like sit, telling someone they'd never seen a ghost. Or they didn't see a ghost. They know what they've seen. You weren't there. They know what they saw. I seen a ghost. And even I know it was a ghost. I know what true fear was. Because I seen a ghost. And you're, you're going to tell me that I never seen a ghost that is utterly utterly disrespectful um but also like I said I do like the concept of making these what ifs like like or like why have hasn't this happened or whatever but here's the thing this is another reason and why people don't tell their stories of Bigfoot and all of that is because people make fun of them. People mock them. So they'd rather keep it to themselves than to tell anybody. And also, I read in the comments too that y'all weren't, aren't like people were lost some respect for you cuz they they said you were you used to be educational and to those people who said that that Bigfoot and all of that ain't educational screw you cuz yes it is you can learn a lot whether it become whether it is nature or or just the creature in general if you're a zoologist you kind of got to look at cryptozoology as well because there's many many animals that used to be alive that cryptozoology itself is trying to figure out is it fully extinct or is it not and and if if it is extinct what are the sightings these cre these people are seeing like what animal are these people seeing and saying it's the Tasmanian tiger or the ivory billed woodpecker. You know. No. If Bigfoot is not real, what are these people seeing? Because a black bear surely ain't 8 to 10 foot tall. And uh, let's see. What are these creatures that people are recording too? If Bigfoot ain't real. Um, but yeah. To tell you the truth, for anybody who's watching this, the video, like, there's some cool concepts and all of that, like I've said. But also, it's very, I'll, I'll, I'll admit, it's kind of disrespectful to, to people who've seen cryptids, or like Bigfoot in general. It's disrespectful to pretty much cryptozoologists and cryptozoology as a whole. It's 
it, it, and it, it's, it's, like I said, it's insulting. Insulting to many people who've seen these creatures and who have, who have dedicated their life to just looking for these creatures. Um, it, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a fan of Coyote Peterson, but I do have two of his books and all that and used to watch him on a daily basis, but this, it, it hurts. It, 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 it truly hurts because I for real thought they'd take this seriously. Um, but. I kind of should have figured. But, uh, I'll put it this way. Um, someone asked Jane Goodall, which, if you don't know who she is, she's basically spent her entire life, uh, researching and, like, hanging around pretty much chimp chimpanzees, bonobos, and gorillas. So, apes, in general. And someone asked her what she thinks or like if she thinks Bigfoot's real. Obviously she laughed and all that, but she said said this there's something that people are seeing out there. Is it Bigfoot? Maybe. Is it an ape? Maybe. Is it just a human? Who knows? But there's something out there that people are seeing. And then I seen another video where David Attenborough himself, who is a big, like, freaking nature, nature and just documentary narrator, um, he said, why would someone go up into the Himalayan mountains just to fake something? And... For those of you that don't know, the Himalayan mountains are one of the highest or, like, tallest mountain ranges. And... Many people have died on these mountains, as well as have had to be evacuated from the mountains, too, because it's just so high in altitude that there's not that much air there, too. And... Uh, the Yeti, which people believe is possibly a cousin to Sasquatch here in the United States, um, or here in North America. And, uh, obviously, I agree with David Attenborough. You, why would, nobody's gonna be dumb enough to go into those mountains and risk their life to fake something. So there's something out there. And there's tons of stories and, like, legends that date all the way back to, like, when Native Americans were just around here in the United States, or here in North America as a whole. Uh, not to mention, first pioneers have, sit, have wrote stories about these creatures, too. There's something out there. Now, when it comes to this, I guess, field or whatever... You have to be very, very, like, diligent, I guess you could say. Because it's sort of a dangerous, like, job if you, you're gonna go out and look for these creatures. Because bears, uh, venomous reptiles, cougars, you know, all of these creatures. And then if you do come across the Bigfoot, you don't know what it's gonna do. You don't know if it's gonna run away or if it's gonna stand its ground um and obviously these creatures are like close to a thousand pounds if not a thousand pounds of pure muscle and all of that and also to anybody and specifically to I guess to Coyote Peterson and the Brave Wilderness team. Going forward, if you do 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 consider uh, de 
decide to keep going with these what ifs, please just be respectful about this stuff. It's it it you can't just do what you did with finding a Bigfoot skull. It's it's utterly insulting to people who who do this on who like research these creatures and go out of their way into the woods and all of that to look for these creatures to find evidence of these creatures and you're putting them down because you never seen one same goes for like like if you're gonna do stuff with bigfoot do it with Bigfoot researchers, whether it's BFRO, although it, maybe don't do BFRO, but there's there's a YouTube channel called Squatch Watchers. You can you guarantee you could probably work with them. There's also Sasquatch Theory. You could work with him. I mean, you could. There's so many like channels who who are dedicated to just Bigfoot. Who go out of their way and look for them and have found tons of cool evidence of these creatures or have even themselves seen these creatures work with those people and be very respectful it, it it's just this video is completely stupid that that you made because you're just mocking a like a small group but a dignified dedicated group of people who not only research these these things but also like I said go out of the way to find evidence and look for these creatures and you made a you pretty much made a joke about it. That's... That's... Utterly... And... Like, stupid. It... So I guess my point is... To anybody, and... As well as Brave Wilderness and Coyote Peterson, even though you'll never see this video... If you do decide to do... Like, Bigfoot stuff, or Loch Ness Monster, or whatever... Any cryptozoology creatures or like cryptids just do it in a respectful manner please it and yeah you're obviously gonna get hate from mainstream because Bigfoot ain't real though we all know how mainstream is mainstream's retarded as can be whether whether it be actors or singers or whatever but yeah and mainstream science has tons of flaws in in it as well as pseudoscience but yeah a anyways this video was almost pointless to make but I kind of felt the need to to make it because well I am obviously an out, like an outdoors doors channel, but also, so I have a literal series called Cryptid Time. I have tons of books on. I, I'm even wearing a shirt with Bigfoot on it. I have family members who found a, like obviously it was a terrible footprint, but that was because it's in the fall and there's leaves on the ground but you can clearly see the the hill and all that they found a structure in the woods too which when they came when we came back to it it was demolished meaning these creatures are so territorial that when it found out a human found the structure it got so mad and destroyed these large like like these limbs you need like a good five to six humans to lift that up 
lift each one of these up and properly set them down through the stuff. And it's during hunting season. Nobody's going to do that. That's, that's completely stupid. Not to mention you could get yourself shot if you don't have bright orange on. So, there's something on this public land that made a structure. And we believe it's Bigfoot. So, yeah. Anyways, like I said, just be respectful. And uh, so until next time, see you on the next hunt. Bye.